Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about park positions and startup modes. So first we're going to cover the most typical setup which is to start up in counterweight down position as a cold start. So this is the counterweight down position. This is in the northern hemisphere. It's facing north and I've go out, gone ahead and started up uh, the Lost Manti. And you'll see here that what I have is the startup options and I'm just going to go ahead and press cold start. And that is going to start it up with the assumption that I am in counterweight down position. So I'm going to go ahead and just switch back. We are back in the uh, home position or the home screen. So at this point, uh, the mount knows where it is, the Gemini knows where it is, and we can go on with the knights uh, observing or imaging. At this point, when we were doing various sorts of imaging all through the night, things like that, uh, and let me just sort of pick an example here. I'm just going to kind of move the telescope a little bit. Okay, so at this point, let's assume that we are done imaging for the night, either on the hand controller or on the GeminiTelescope.net or whatever software you would have, you would actually initiate a park mode. So from the hand controller, just to emulate this, we would go to menu and then park, and then we would park at counterweight down position. And we can see here that it's going to go back to the counterweight down position. Now the next night, if you tore down and set up again, you would just power down the Gemini and then power it back on and you would do the same thing. You would be in this counterweight down position and you would cold start uh, the mount. Now, you can actually leave the Gemini on if for some reason you have it up for a couple of uh, nights in a row. You can leave it powered on and actually just unpark it at that point and it's gonna be fine. If you're doing visual observation or if you're maybe using a DSLR and you're building a model, maybe you built an alignment model the night before and then you powered it down and now we're gonna power it back up provided you're basically in the same position and your polar alignment hasn't changed, what you can do is, instead of doing a cold start, you would do a warm start. And then we'll go back, and then we'll go back again. Now this is pretty much the same thing as a cold start in terms of the position the telescope is in when you start it up, but it preserves the model, preserves your alignment model. So the first thing you would do at this point is do a go-to, probably to a bright star. You would center it up, and then you would sync. So we would go to menu, we would go to align and we would choose synchronize. Now the third option is involves a custom home position. This is typically if you have a roll off roof observatory or something where you need to park the scope in a custom position other than counterweight down position. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set my mount in the position that I want it to be for my home position. Okay, so I didn't quite plan that very well, but this is the home position I wanted to park at. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go to menu and park, and then I'm gonna say set home position, and that's gonna define that home position. And now I can go to menu, park, and I can park at home position. And that's going to park it and be ready for uh, shutting down or if, again you could just leave the power on and have it just be like this for the rest of the evening. Now if you do set a custom home position and you park it and then power it down and again I would just leave it powered on if it were me and I do that fairly often but uh, if you power it down and then you start it back up at this point the option you would use to unpark it would be the warm restart. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now what's gonna happen is it knows that it is in the position that it is now and not in the counterweight down position. That is the mode you would use, the warm restart mode, anytime you are dealing with a restarting from a position that's other than counterweight down. So when I choose menu and uh, park and choose park at counterweight down position, you'll see that it will go back to the counterweight down position because it remembered where it was at. 
Now that was just to demonstrate when you do a warm restart in a position other than the counterweight down, it will remember where it is and you can actually go back to counterweight down position. Personally, when I do a home position because I have a roll off observatory, I leave the Gemini on pretty much 24 seven and it just started up from that home position every single time. Just one last note on automation. If you have software automation and you're using GeminiTelescope.net, you're gonna to wanna to configure the park position when it actually initiates the park in your software. And you do that in the GeminiTelescope.net application under the park settings. So that's it. I hope that helps you understand cold start, warm start, and warm restart and how they relate to the park positions as well.